again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 16th of January, 2019. I posted a series of videos this morning. One was titled, How Incredibly Sick Is This? And that's where you had this mentally deranged UK couple, if that's what you want to call them. You had a 21-year-old woman who had a beautiful little baby boy. And uh, his uh, or her mate is another woman that transgendered into a man. And this little boy reportedly wants to transition into a little girl. Now, I want to ask you folks a question. How many of you have been aware of the term when you were younger? Which we don't hear now so much, but I heard it a lot when I was younger. And the term is tomboy. What's a tomboy? Well, a tomboy is a girl that likes to play baseball, likes to play football, might even like to play hockey, depending on where she lives, and prefers hanging out with guys versus hanging out with girls. You remember back then? Now, how many of those tomboys blossomed into beautiful, healthy, normal women? I knew quite a few. And if you've been around for a while, as far as age is concerned, you probably knew quite a few as well. Now, when you watch this video of how incredibly sick is this, that little boy is going to be destroyed by this sick, mentally deranged, perverted family. In the early 80s, homosexuals were in a closet. They were buried deep in the closet. They didn't interfere with straight folks. They hung out amongst themselves. I used to go down to Laguna Beach quite often. And Laguna Beach is known for a haven for homosexuals. They have their own beach. I think it was called Black Beach. And uh, that's where they go to hang out with each other. And that's fine. Barack Hussein Obama changed all that. In our dysfunctional Supreme Court, when you've got people like Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor, that I believe are both lesbians, and then you've got people like Ruth Ginsburg, who's clearly lost her mind. And they went ahead and they said that gay marriage is legal in America. Folks, tomboys would have been screwed up if we had people like we now have back then. They would have been transgendered into the other sex. And they would have continued to have the highest rate of suicide. Why do you think that is? I'll tell you why that is. Because they can't go back to the way they were before they were screwed up. And those girls that were tomboys, they grew out of it. Because they didn't have sick, mentally deranged people pushing them into hormone injections to change them. I believe Justin Bieber was a girl and his parents, her parents, wanted a boy. And he's the end result. Big Mike, I think the same thing happened in that family. They didn't want a little girl. They wanted another brother for their other son. Big Mike didn't go through the surgery, but did go through the hormone treatment, as did Justin Bieber. The whole thing's insane. Again, think back when you were young and how many girls you knew that were tomboys. And they blossomed into beautiful, healthy, young woman. 
That doesn't happen much anymore because they're screwed up by their environment. They're screwed up by the people around them. You've heard me say this more than once. We're all products of our environment. That couldn't be more true when it comes to these innocent people that are deranged by their mentally unbalanced parents or caregivers. The Serena sisters, Venus, <laughs> and Serena, they're men. That's why they dominate in tennis. It's absolutely sickening. That's sort of what I think. If you agree with any of what I've said, or if you agree with the majority of what I've said, please repost this in all your social media accounts. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. I feel sorry for people that are caught in that trap. Thanks for listening.